Are you saying that, or you, are you asking me whether we are, as a Muslim, uh, do I pray to the Shin? No, I'm not asking that. Okay. What I am asking you is, can you pray to the Shin? Because if it is Allah, why not? So if on one hand you're saying you're worshipping Allah, but on the next breath you're saying you don't worship the word of Allah, okay, okay, then you are worshipping some of Allah okay, me... and not the whole of okay, Allah. Okay. Ali is talking to someone. Ali! Ali! You got a question, Ali? Got a question for you. Just a minute. It's only a business meeting. Gio, you can have this business meeting any time you like. Is it personal? Yeah, just a second. Alright. Are you okay though? Yeah, It's probably they just don't want to talk to us. Ali, you've spent four years running away from me, bro. Wait, 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 four years running away from me, bro. When are we going to talk? Quick question, quick question. What's the question Bob? Can you worship the face of Allah? So the face of Allah is equivalent to Allah? Is that also true of his hands? Let, let, put the question another way. Is the face of Allah equivalent to his... Is the face of Allah equivalent to his hands? Are they the same thing? Yeah. Now notice to use the metaphors of composite. So there's a plurality within the divinity. Contradiction. If you've just accepted, what, what, one second. What, what, if you, I entertained the question. What can we just true, true. Just because you have a problem with Trinity, we don't. Don't be upset with us. We don't have it. I we think uh, uh, Ali. The arm is another God. Ali. Everyone, God. everyone heard you contradict yourself. No you I'm just, you just explained God as a composite, and then you denied the composite. When we put this video up, go and listen to your own words. If Allah's hands is not his face, if Allah's shin is not his face, then that's a plurality. You can't get away from that. So that's a composite. So it's a differentiated unity, isn't it? No, 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 I never said it was Trinity. I said it was a differentiated unity. Yeah, it's a differentiated unity. Yeah. Why are you trying to give to You don't have Trinity. One told you, one was one. That's the reason why. You know how many what, One God made up of a hand, made up of a face, made up of a shin, made up of a. Defined face. Defined face. According to Islam, you can't define. You can't say that anything that is our face is Allah's face. Well, that's my point. No, but why is it that we worship? That's my point. I'm not trying to straw man Islam. I'm not trying to straw man Islam. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, so what we saw, what we saw, once again, Ali Dawa running away from a debate. But Ali Dawa said, Ali Dawa said that Allah's face is not his hand. That's what Ali Dawa said. Now that means that Allah is a composite. That the concept of Taweed involves plurality. Because if the face is not the, if the, face is not the hands and the hands are not the shin, then that means you have a composite. These are differentiated aspects of Allah. So it's a differentiated unity. Ali Dawa is a polytheist. Well, the thing is, we know, let's not straw man. I'm not trying to say that Muslims believe in multiple gods. I'm not trying to say that. I accept Muslims believe in one God. We do. I am not, and I am agreeing with you. I do believe in one God. I'm a Christian. Christians believe in one God. But the point is, that if Allah is a composite, if Allah's face... Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'll, I'll explain. Uh, but let me finish my sentence and then I'll explain. So if Allah is a composite, there is a plurality within the unity of Allah. There is a plurality within the eternity of Allah. Which means that Muslims have no argument against the Trinity. Now, what is a composite? You asked a fair question, here's a fair answer. I'm a composite. I have arms. I have legs, I have feet, nose, eyes, lips. Let me answer your first question. Yeah, you asked a question, listen to the answer. You asked what a composite was, let me explain it to you. Okay, so a composite is me. I am a composite. 
Why am I a composite? Because my arm is mine, but it isn't me. I can live without my arm. You can cut it off and chuck it away, but I will still live. So Allah is a composite. That's what a composite is. What, that I'm a composite? I do know that. Well, do you believe that Allah has a face? Does the Quran say? Are you sure? Right, so why don't you know? You read the Quran, right? You read the Quran, right? Did I just see one Muslim say that Ali isn't a Muslim? It, I don't know, that's what it sounded like. I don't know if you caught it. Yeah, but he said, just because you call me brother doesn't mean we're brothers. Yeah, I think that's what he said. So here's, here's the problem for the Muslims. Is your book says that your God has parts. Two hands, both on the right hand side, two eyes, a shin, a face. He says, where? That's a fair question. So let me show you. Let me show you. Surah 6842. Surah 6842. Yeah. So what is a part? What is a part? Don't play with words. Show me where is he said he has He says it's playing with words to say what a part is when that's the crux of the argument. Okay. So, Surah 68:42. Right. A part, ladies and gentlemen, is something is something that is of the thing but not the totality of the thing. Did you all did you get that JC? A part is something that is of the thing but not the totality of the thing. So in Surah 68, Ayah 42, it says... Yeah, let's ask Mansour. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's talk about it. Okay. So, I, I, I'm not going to straw man Islam. Islam teaches that anything that I say by face cannot be ascribed to Allah's face. did you find the verse yet? So, oh, so. Sorry, can you repeat did you that again? The verse? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's just being rude. Would Sammy you agree he's being rude? Right? Why, why can't you call out someone who's being rude? Does Islam prevent you from standing up for justice? Right, we'll call him out right now then. He's being rude. Well, I'm doing it because you can see that it's wrong to behave like that. Would you, would you say he's being rude now? If I do it now, I don't. Why would I do it now? You were talking to me. Do you agree that it's wrong? Should we talk about the Quran? Okay, so let's talk about this. Did right. So, to answer your question directly, yeah. without straw manning, when I say face, what I mean is something like my face and your face. Yeah. But I accept that I Islam mean, teaches the, the, the that face, that part. anything that I can conceive of as a face is not like Allah's face. Yeah. Because the very fact that I can conceive of it and Allah is only other to his creation means that these two things are not comparable. Yes, well, well explained. Yeah, so I'm not strawmanning Islam, am I? Yeah, no, you're not. Right. But Islam does teach that Allah has body parts. I understand that this is um, It's a very complicated conversation. Well, well let's, let's just read this verse. Yeah. Surah 68, Ayah 42. On the day when the shin shall be laid bare. Does Allah have a shin? It's a bit of, you know, negative theology, right? Yeah. So it's basically what I do as a Muslim, right? Personally, and there are Muslims who have different opinions. But if, if you ask me personally, I uh, affirm, but I do not really um, dabble into the philosophical implications of what it actually means. So to me, it's like I affirm that Allah has a shin. Thank you. But I can't explain to you what the shin is. Great. So we agree that Allah has a shin. There's no dispute here. I affirm that the Allah, if Allah, what does it say? Extra shin? Yeah. I heard the Prophet saying, Allah will lay bare his shin, and then all the believers, men and women, will prostrate themselves before him. Now, is the shin equivalent to Allah? Is the shin the, the fullness of Allah? It's a very difficult question. I can't answer that. I'm sorry. Well, let me ask the question in yeah. another way. Yeah. Is the shin the same as Allah's face? I believe that uh, the attributes of Allah are Allah. That's not my question. 
No, you guys, you, you've got to realise, if I ask no, a question and you don't answer my question, I'm just going to ask the question again no, and no, then I you look that. silly. No, no, but you, you can also... I'll ask the question again. No, but you can also appreciate that I may not be able to answer the question because I don't know how to. If you affirm that Allah has a shin, do you also affirm that Allah has a face? Yeah. Right, if you affirm that Allah has a shin and you affirm that Allah has a face, you have to affirm that the shin is not the face. Again, you are, you're asking metaphysical questions. I can't really answer those metaphysical questions. It's very beyond my... Uh... It, it logically follows from the premise. Logic? Yes, talk about yes, God, yes, uh, absolutely. Logically, if you affirm that Allah has a shin, which you have, and you affirm that Allah has a face, which you have, you have to affirm, you have to affirm that the shin is not the face. Why? Why? Because if you affirm that the Allah's shin and face are the same thing, then you aren't affirming that Allah has a shin or a face. Because what you're doing is the approximation to shin and face is mirrored by creation because you're saying that your face and your shin are not the same. Therefore, the creator, it can't be the same. So that's the logic really. So, so when the Quran states, so hold on, let's follow your logic through, right? Let's, because yeah. you're now going down the line of saying that the shin and the face are the same thing. I, I, I didn't, uh, I, I didn't say. It. I just affirmed that they exist. Right. If you affirm that they but exist, are really they the same? I'm not interested whether they're the same or not. I just affirmed. Can them. you worship the shin? I worship Allah. I, I, I worship Allah. And if, if, if that's not my question. Yeah. Can you worship the shin? It's a very odd question. It's I, a. I'm asking it. Can you worship the shin? I find it strange. You might do. Still answer the question. Can you worship the shin? I can't answer that question. You can't answer that question. I can't. It's not because I don't want to. It's just because the way it's posed and the way my understanding of, of God... It, 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 I don't know. It doesn't make sense. I'm saying to you that your concept of God is a muddled, confused concoction of Islam. How is that? Because the Quran is saying that Allah has a face and Allah has a shin. Surah Al-Qalam, yeah? Yeah. And, and I'm not, I'm not straw-manning Islam. Yeah. This is what the Quran says. Can you also, can you also, um, the, also, the Quran also says that it has an eye. It also says that it has a hand. Yeah, but like, so... So are these things real things or not? Yeah, but, but the question, this is what I would ask you then. Since you're, you're pressing me to answer to you what the shin, um, whether I'm praying to the shin... No, I didn't say that. No, whether... You Don't straw man me, I'm not no, a straw man in oh, you. No, I'm okay, may I ask you, I should ask you. Are you saying that, or you, are you asking me whether we are, as a Muslim, uh, do I pray to the shin? No, I'm not asking that. Okay. What I am asking you is, can you pray to the shin? That's what I'm asking. Yeah. Because if it is Allah, why not? Can you not worship the shin of Allah? Is it not divine? Are you committing shirk if you worship no, Allah's not, shin? I'm not, but I'm... So you can worship the shin of Allah? I'm Allah into shin and hand when Allah is... But is that what the Quran does? I don't think that is Allah's... I don't think so when it says Allah has a shin, is that a real statement or not? Maybe, maybe, I don't know, does it have to be uh, understood literally as well, because, you know? Do Salafi, you're a Salafist, right? Um, I don't ascribe to Salafi uh, as, as, as the modern inclination of Salafi, no, I don't. So you don't, so, but you affirm that Allah has a shin? Yeah, but... That Allah's shin is a real thing? So what was it? Hold on. Surah, Surah 68, Ayah 42. 42, yeah. Honestly I'm, not, honestly, I'm not trying to be difficult or anything. What I mean by shin, at uh, 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 the risk of repeating myself, because this is uh, the brother already asked this question. But, yeah, so what I'm, what I'm saying is that the Quran affirms that Allah has a shin, but I accept the Quran also says that Allah's shin is not like our shin or any other shin in the world of creation. Right. But the point is, does Allah have a shin and can you worship it? And you know what I found so very strange? I've never ever in my life heard that verse in this way. I've well, I've just shown it. it to you. I'm not making it up. Okay, here it's not saying that. Where's it saying? Where's well, it? now you're just pointing out that Muslims change their translation. No, this is not true. I've never heard of it. Uh, I'm sorry, this is not true. Like these people, you have, you have to, uh, you have these. On your one second, hand. one second. Before oh, you just, the, 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 this is this is translated in Saudi Arabia by yeah, Arabs. Have you ever heard uh, Shin? It's not seen. Here. Yeah. yeah. I've, never, I've never heard it before. Well, I've never heard that. Well, well maybe, 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 bro. It says here. Maybe you should stop being Arabized, and maybe you should. Just a second, yeah. Okay. Sorry. So. Sorry, sorry, but it, it's all right. Just uh, have some patience. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. And also, well, I, I'm not trying to be difficult. I'm trying to reason with you. 
We need like a TikTok. TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> the, the basically, basically, what you've got, guys, is that the translations of the Quran are in contradiction to one another. The translation of the Quran is in contradiction to one another. Can you read Arabic, Ali? Can you read Arabic, Ali? Are you fully Arabized yet? Ali, are you fully Arabized? I just want you to confirm if you can read Arabic whether the Arabic says Allah has a shin. No? No, Ali's, Ali's lost his tongue. Cat's got his tongue. And the Muslims are still trying to figure out what their holy book says. Despite the fact that they've got, despite the fact. Fabrication by Saudi Arabia. Yeah, apparently, apparently, apparently. Let, let, let me just show you, brother, come here. I want to show you something, right? This, this is a fabrication, apparently. Look at that. Who translated it? Where they translated it from? Yeah, so here it is. Here, here's the Muslim argument. Yeah, Dr. Muhammad Taki'ud Din Al Hilali and Dr. Muhammad Mushin Khan, I want to, of, of Islamic University Al Medina Al Munawara. I, I want to give you a message from a, a non-fully Arabized Muslim that you're fabricating your Quran. You despots, you linguistic liars, you fitna, causes of fitna, you deviants. This, this Muslim brother knows better than you and you're Arabic and you of, of Al Medina University, you are liars and fabricators. Yes. Because this oh, translation oh, says something different. Oh, who translated that? I've, I've double checked here. Who, double trans checked. who translated that? Who translated that? 68, 48? Yeah, who translated that? Yeah. I'm going to have a look. But you double check as well. It's we double check here already. It's, it's, not not here. Here. it's not in here. It's not in here. Brother, brother. There's something wrong with that. Brother. And you know what? Are you, are you saying that, that Dr. Muhammad Taki al din is, is wrong? When you are you saying that, he's wrong? Hold on. When you mention that, you're Answer the question. Uh, are you saying he's wrong? No, what the we translation said is, is what you're holding you're, in your you're, hand So, so you're saying Dr. Muhammad's no, wrong? No, no, no. The translation is wrong. So Dr. Muhammad is wrong? The translation is wrong. Who translated it, bro? We could be printing a mistake. Do you not see why I laugh at you guys? Why are you laughing at us? I'm laughing at you because this is so desperate. Oh, but it this is so desperate, guys. No, it's cool, it's cool. No, but we, totally no, desperate. Double checked on three months. It's not saying that. Now, I'm sorry, guys, but all you've got, all you've demonstrated, is that you can't translate your book properly. And you know, you know what? That's all you've demonstrated. You haven't proven that your translation is correct. I found strange just because I knew of the hadith. That's a hadith like that with shins and things like that. Okay. But I've never heard of an ayat that talks about this. And I've read the Quran. So we showed the hadith. We showed the hadith at the same time as the verse. Yeah, but I think that's remember that's, hold on remember that's a mistake well, no no one second so so not only not only is the Muslim scholars from Medina University wrong in how they translate it but they're also wrong about which hadiths they ascribe to the verse this is not a handwritten book is it one second it's, a, it's a printed isn't one it? one second is it printed? 6842 do you know what this is called brother this is called desperation clutching at straws okay, fair enough. that's what you're doing right now you're yeah, clutching no, at straws I, I, I thought I was trying to be transparent but no 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 I, I appreciate Look, regardless of whatever this is not from the Quran that verse is, no is, 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 I'm sorry but you do you read Arabic yeah I do read Arabic so you so, so you can read Arabic yeah I can read Arabic. fluently yes but okay not let, enough, I'm not the best reader but I can read so but, not fluently yeah but right this is not from the Quran okay it's okay not, okay not. we've double checked now a few times what, what, so what surah 42 surah 68 42 right says can I actually the read day Arabic? the day when the shin shall be laid bare one second okay. don't touch my Quran sorry, sorry. yeah and here is the, the, the hadith that the Muslim scholars of Medina University attach to this verse. So it's a hadith. Listen. Narrated, yes, you're not even listening. You're not even listening. Narrated by Abu Sayyid, I heard the Prophet saying, Allah will lay bare his shin. So the Quran says that Allah has a shin, and the hadith says that Allah has a shin. And the Muslims are saying that the translation is wrong because, why? Why? Because they are embarrassed by the verse. Look, look, I'll show you. Allah has a shin, according to this passage. And then you've got a hadith here, 
It's given by the scholars. Oh, so 42. Okay. The day 42. when the shin shall be laid bare. 42. Yeah, and now read the hadith that they put to it as well. Oh, listen, we've been looking at the wrong verse. We've been looking at 48. They've been looking at the wrong verse. Yeah. Ah, okay. Hadith's not reliable anyway. Yeah. What? No, 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 no. No, no, let's go to 42. Sorry, let's go to 42. Yeah. You can't, you can't, uh, bear, you can't uh, judge anything based on hadith. They, they are... Brother, you've been hoodwinked. Okay. Me? Yeah. <laughs> Believing in Islamic monotheism. Yeah. It's a hoodwink, mate. What about your God of the Bible? Does he, does he have a chin? Uh, so, so, yeah, we'll, 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 yeah, we'll address correct. that part. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So I'm not lying. We were looking at 48. Fair enough. Yeah, honest mistake. Honest yeah. mistake. Yeah. Let's move past it. Honest mistake. Yeah. So now that we've all established that the Quran does say that Allah has a shin. Yeah. Yeah. Back to my original question. Can you worship the shin of Allah? What does shin mean? This, this bit here? No offence, but I've already answered that question twice so far. I'm going to have to think about this. Okay. Yeah. Well, next time maybe we can have a conversation. Right. Think about so, so when you think about it, yeah. let, let's, let's put it another word. Do you agree that the Quran are the words of Allah? Yeah. Do you agree that the words of Allah are eternal? Yeah. Okay. So can you worship the words of Allah? Um, can you worship the words of Allah? I mean, you worship Allah in... Yeah. yeah okay, I think so can you worship these words? Again, let me think about it, let me think about it. Because with the verse, I know, for example, that you can swear by the Quran. But it's talking it's about the wicked. It says the wicked. It's talking about you, Bob, the wicked. It says, it's not talking it about says, him, a Muslim. Does it, this is actually irrelevant to my point. No, but it is. Cause it, it, How is it relevant to my point? Because it refers to the wicked, i.e. would the wicked be able to bow down to Allah and his shin? So the Thank question, you. So the question to yourself, on the day of judgment, when you see Allah, yep. will you bow down to his shin? Yep. Will you? So will he? Will you? No, but it's addressed to the wicked. That's you, fine. Bob. That's fine. I, I won't be able to. You are. Okay. Please go. So will you? But are you the wicked? I'm not wicked. It's, it's the actually wicked. irrelevant to my Bob. point. It's irrelevant to my point. I, I see your point. I see your point. I, I'm going to have to think about it. Your okay. point is like, if there's a shin, yeah, you can say you So when you no, go back, when you go back. Uh, yeah, the, the, the verse is not talking about you. It's right. talking about the wicked. Bro, bro, when you go back. Be Bro, I'm not even disputing what he's saying. Will be bad I'm not even disputing what he's saying. To His point is totally irrelevant to what I'm saying. It's totally irrelevant to what I'm saying. Totally irrelevant to what I'm saying. The disbelievers, Bob, totally irrelevant to what I'm saying. Totally irrelevant to what I'm saying. But Allah is not talking about you. Totally irrelevant to what I'm saying. Totally irrelevant to what I'm saying. The point that I'm making. So when you go back to continue your Arabization. Okay. I try not to. I yeah. When, when you go back to when you go back is the, when you go back to continue your Arabization. I am uh, from Congo. Yeah. I am from the Mutitila tribe. Yeah. And I'm happy to be that. I love Arabic as a language, but also love. Okay. Love great English, stuff. Great English stuff. English language or the Persian language. But but you like, but you worship in Arabic to an Arabic city, copying an Arab man. That's Arabization. How is that? Jesus was not speaking English. Or Brother, if you care about Congolese culture, you will take careful note of what happened to Coptic culture and what happened to Nubian culture in the Sudan. Um, Coptic culture, you know what? But this let, is a separate let, point. Let, let's see this that. is a separate point. Okay. What I am pointing out to you is this, yeah. okay? Your God is a composite. There is a plurality within the unity of Allah. And if there is a plurality within the unity of Allah, you have no objection to the Trinity, none. But this is what I'm trying to say, you know what you're doing is, again, and this is something for you to think of for next week. What I can you, think about it now. Okay. I can. don't need next week. What you're doing is you're mirroring what you understand to be the chin and the face. And because we know that the chin and the face are not the same, you're applying this back to Allah. We are saying to you, we don't even know what chin or face means. Yes. And that brings me on to another point. But before I go on to bring out this other point, I want, to I want to just point out to you that logically, yeah. if you affirm that Allah has a shin and you affirm that Allah has a face, logically, you can't say they are the same. Why? Because you therefore can't affirm that Allah has a shin and a face. But don't you see that, did you, that you're involved in conjecture right now? Let me tell you why. The whole of Islam is no. conjecture. Fair enough. But you Wait, know what? No, hold on. Let me talk as no, well. No, no, no. I, I will. 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 What I, what I want to point out though is that if you are saying yeah. that when we say shin and face, we can't, anything that we understand by shin or face is, is what we can think of, yeah. that that's not applicable to Allah, then what you're saying is these words don't mean anything. Because if you're saying that when I say the word shin, I cannot think of anything that I conceive as a shin in the whole of creation and apply it to Allah, 
then that means the word Shin doesn't mean anything to Allah in terms of our description of him. I don't... It doesn't make sense. Again, but it does make sense. It does make sense. But, I don't understand you. But, but the point I was trying to make here is that uh, it's a lot of conjecture that you do because first of all, you talk about very metaph uh, metaphysical... Um, it's a metaphysical discussion. You're talking about the Day of Judgment, which is far removed from where we are. You're talking about a realm that we have no knowledge of. So you're talking about Allah and His face and His chin. I'm saying to you as a Muslim, when I read these verses, yep. yes, I'm a human being. Maybe sometimes these things may come in my mind where I think of a chin in, in, in a face. But what is the spirit of what is actually saying that? And he brought uh, this... Uh, the wicked. The, the wicked not, not only that, but it says they won't be able to prostrate. And when you yep. prostrate, yep. it means... Yep. To so, worship. Yeah, so maybe, you know, the shin may, may represent something else. That's what I'm trying to say to you. Let me go back, double check what shin and what the scholar said about shin. Because yep. I'm sure they've discussed this uh, yep. in the past before. But you, you already said earlier yep. that I, I, I perfectly explained the position that yeah, when we say like shin... You've, you've, so I'm not trying to straw man Islam. I know, I know you're not. You know, that's what the Dawa team do. That's what your teacher Ali Dawa does. He straw mans teacher, Christianity. He's my friend. Yeah? He's a friendly brother, yeah, not right? teacher. But anyway, I, but, I, I get what you're saying. So here's my point. Yeah. Here's my point. If your God is a composite... Uh, that's you are saying that. I don't I have that. not heard any reason to not believe that from you. I just explained to you that when you say composite, you mean uh, God let, is let, in let, different parts? Let, let, yeah, exactly. He has different parts. Why is he in different? This, there's different... Uh, great, great question. Because limbs, different limbs are mentioned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, so let's... let's, 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 let's no, no, it doesn't. It really doesn't because... If you've it's got, a very if you've got, if you've God. got parts, yeah. if you've got parts, no. Well, what you're bearing in mind, you're accusing the Quran of this, of, what? Uh, of giving a materialistic description no. of Allah. Remember what I was trying to you say. You affirm the shin. No, you no. affirm the face. Yeah, but it does not. Mean yes, no, thank you. But it does not mean that I affirm any materiality to it. It does not mm -hmm. mean that I affirm any cells or even so, directions to so, it. So, so, okay, so, I'm not so, so, I'm no, just, I, I get you. I get I'm you. affirming the word. Right. So, that's it. You're I, affirming. There. You're affirming there. a word yeah, that is meaningless. There. It's not meaningless. Why so, what does it mean to say Allah has a face? What is a face? What is the face of Allah? For example, I remember. I remember one of the verses says, "It does not matter where you direct your prayers towards. To Allah's, Allah's, Allah's face is is. is uh, how does the verse go again? So Allah's face is everywhere. It's, it's, it's basically, you can say that in other words. But yeah. Can someone bring the verse? I'm fine with that. Habibi, can you bring the but verse? But the point someone is, what is a face? So, what is a face? Yeah. Yeah. Why is the face? Yeah. Why is the face of Allah? So I'm not meaning, denying that the face of Allah is everywhere. I'm just asking, what is the face of Allah? No, but the meaning of that ayat, for example, the way I've always understood it, it means that it does not matter. Uh, don't pay too much attention to the ritual, per se. Yeah. Just know that Allah is all, all encompassing, the ground of all. The ground of all. I can work with that. I'm not even going to argue about that. Yeah. So, but the point when you that. Say to me face, when you say to but, me face, but are you saying? Are you saying that the the Quran does not affirm that Allah actually has a face? Is it? I'll, yeah, yeah, I'll yeah, put my I'll yeah. put my question in in really rubric, simple rubrics. Is the what face and the shin of Allah a reality? What direction face of Allah's face is? Uh, I'll tell you. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. So I know yeah. Muslims Ash, don't Ash agree. Ash yes. No. Yeah. And yeah, shall he say no? Yeah, you know, say the Salafi. Yes, but even though they affirm it as yes, they say it's unlike it's, his creation. Okay, so if are you a Salafi or a Shari? I, I'm probably leaning more to the literacy. More towards, and you're definitely Salafi. No, I, I am... I'm not a Salafi, by the no, way. No, you, you affirm the reality of the face and the shin. Yeah, but That's I'm not the Ashari position. I, I'm not literalistic in, in that Okay, so here's the, here's the problem, right? If, I just affirm it. If Allah has parts... If Allah has parts, then you need to worship the whole of Allah. So you're not committing shirk by worshipping his hand or his shin or his face. If you deny that you can worship the shin or the hand or the word of Allah, then you are committing shirk. But more, 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 certainly, if that was the case, well, let's go with what you're saying. Would, would I not as a Muslim find some rituals or some principles in Islam that somehow separates it? Like, for example, not you personally, but the Catholics do. Mary, yeah? Yeah. Then they have uh, particular um, readings for Mary and particular um, rituals that they have to do. Are you, are you trying to suggest that Mary is part of our concept of God? No, no. I, I, I remember, I didn't say you. I said... No, so, are you so, saying that Catholics believe Mary is God? No, they don't. But Good. But, 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 Good, just but, so long as we're clear yeah, about that. No, don't, but uh, 
what I'm saying is, you know when you have certain principles in a religion, there are certain things that those principles will make you to do, yeah, right? Yeah. So for me, the way I always understood, when I worship Allah SWT, what I'm worshipping is not the stone, I'm not worshipping the direction. I'm not accusing you of that. Yeah, I'm just, I'm worshipping the, 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 the power, the creator that has it created everything. Does it include his word? Um, do I worship no. the Quran? I don't worship the Quran per se. So is the words of Allah, are, are the words of Allah separate from Allah? No, they're, they're, they're part of him. So that means that you're worshipping part of Allah, not the whole of Allah. Because okay. if you, one second, yeah. these are your words. Yeah. You said that you worship Allah, but you don't worship the Quran. Yeah. But then you said the Quran is the word of Allah and it is not separable to Allah. So if on one hand you're saying you're worshipping Allah, but on the next breath you're saying you don't worship the word of Allah, okay, okay, then me... you are worshipping some of Allah okay, me... and not the whole of okay, Allah. Okay, let me retract that back. Let me retract that back. So, um, okay. So, the Quran, must have Quran, okay. So when you say Quran, right, you, you mean the word, isn't it? I, I'm talking about the word of Allah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You mean the Quran? No, yeah. I'm talking about the word of Allah. There's no word, there's there's no word of Allah. So there's no word of Allah now? Yeah. So Allah doesn't have a word? No, no, the, the Quran no, the is... the way you mean it. The Quran is the, is the speech of Allah. Say, Allah you're right, the but, speech of Allah, is yeah. it an attribute yeah, of Allah? The speech of Allah. Yeah. Yeah. Do you worship it? No. That's what I'm trying to say. No, I, I, that's I, I, what I'm pointing out, bro. Yeah. Yes, you've just said, no, I do not worship the speech of Allah. Yeah. That means that you are not worshipping the whole, the totality of Allah. You are worshipping parts of Allah. Perfect. When you say you worship the words, yeah, or the scripture, are you, are you saying literally, uh, because in the scripture there's also names of human beings yep. and prophets. So when you say, do you worship the speech of Allah, are you saying that, Am I also worshipping those people who are mentioned in the book or am I worshipping the legislator who is legislating? Right, so I am not saying to you what you do. I, I want to be clear about that. I don't yeah. want to straw man you. Yeah. That's what the Dawah team do. That's your game. You straw man Christianity. Oh, I don't no, no, no. straw man Islam. Okay. But what I'm saying, I simply ask the question because it doesn't matter what you answer. Either yeah. way, you're in trouble. The simple yeah, question that I, mean, I asked you yeah. is, do you worship the speech of Allah? If the answer is yes, I do, then your God is a composite. If you say the answer is no, I don't, then you, your God is a composite. Because you are accepting that Allah is a plurality of attributes. But this is what I'm trying to say, if, if that was the case, this is what I'm trying to say, you will never find in the, in the Muslim world, this is what I'm trying to say, your, your questions are valid, but they're a bit strange because yeah. you would never yes. find uh, a Muslim anywhere in the world yep. holding up the Quran yep. and worshipping it. I know, so, I agree. So that's what I'm trying to say to you. The way you uh, pose these questions are a bit, I've never seen this before. So, so it's, it's called thinking. Yeah. So the thing is, if you, it's, it's called thinking because if you have premise A, the speech of Allah is not separate from Allah. Premise B, a Muslim is commanded to worship Allah. Premise C, Muslims do not worship the speech of Allah, then A has contradicted C. But how can you worship speech? Because he's yeah. trying to say that, 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 that he's giving you it. But the speech. way he's saying it... You follow speech. But then that's why there's hadith to, to, to see the no, interpretation. No, but what I'm trying to say, but how do you... How, practically, how would you worship speech? You can't. So, you follow speech. So, you, follow, you listen to it. By following this... The speech yeah. you are worshiping Allah. Yeah, that's yeah, how you do it. So by following the speech you worship Allah. Does that include his speech? <laughs> bro, no. bro, you just I don't know what you're doing. Bro. Uh, it's, the, the thing is, it doesn't really make sense. The yeah. No, it, it it really does make sense. Because no, it really doesn't. Let me explain why. Because your Quran, not me, says that Allah has hands. Your Quran, not me says that Allah has a shin. Your Quran, yeah, not me, but, says that Allah has speech. But, but, but Allah because, also says, because, because hold on. Sorry, Habib, no, go ahead. So when you're commanded to worship Allah, is that Allah in his totality or just some of Allah? No, but you see, Allah also says in the Quran, there are certain verses that are clear and there are certain verses that are a bit ambiguous. Right. And this one seems to be a bit ambiguous. So what okay. I say to you is this. You're the talking about Surah 2, Ayah 3, aren't you? So what I'm trying to say to you is this, yeah. I don't know if that's the sort of. It is. What I'm trying to say. Going to show you. What I'm trying to say to you is this, yeah. That, okay, worshiping Allah or worshiping a speech requires a method. What is the method? Following the speech. Following the speech is worship. Because remember, in Quran and in Islam, worship is very comprehensive. Yes. Sleeping with your wife is worship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Giving a charity is worship. Applying perfume is worship. Smiling. 
you know smiling is worship so would you then say oh by smiling do you worship smiling no we don't we follow the speech no 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 you've 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 confused you've conflated I'm, categories there I'm, I'm not confusing it i'm you've to, conflated well, categories no i'm not conflating what i'm saying to you is that if you ask me do you worship the speech the way i worship the speech or worship allah is by following it that's the methodology that's okay. the methodology to it. Can we can we come to this verse about the ambiguous and the unambiguous verses? Sure, if you want to. Right, hold on one second. I thought it was Surah 2, Ayah 4, but this maybe I'm wrong. So, because here's a problem. Ambiguous verses and clear verses. Or is it 3, 4? You know the Ayah, the ayah there are verses who are ambiguous and uh, verses who are uh, clear. Ah, sorry, it's 7. Oh, you found it, yeah? I think so. Yeah, okay, so it's Surah 3, Ayah 7, okay? Now, now I'm going to show you another problem in your religion, okay? I accept that the Quran establishes two categories of verses. Category 1, ambiguous verses. Category 2, unambiguous verses. Mm -hmm. I accept that. I am not disputing it. Here's my challenge to you. You have good ones. Show me in the Quran mm -hmm. where the Quran defines for you what are the ambiguous verses and the unambiguous verses. So I'm not asking you to show me that it gives you those two categories. I accept it. I'm asking you to show me where it defines those two categories for you, as in what are ambiguous verses and what are unambiguous verses? What constitutes them? The way I've always understood From the Quran, yeah. not your opinion. Yeah, but uh, why does it have to show that, first of all? Why does it have to? Great question, I'll show you. Yeah. I'll show you. So in Surah, here's, here, the question was a fair one. The answer I think you will see is also fair. Because that seems, that ayat seems very open, uh, open uh, ending. I am, I'm going to show you, bro. You know? I'm going to show you why it's it It just says, look, there is going to be verses. I'm going to show you. So remember his question. Yeah. I said, I accept the Quran gives me two categories, ambiguous verses and unambiguous verses. And then I asked him, where does the Quran define for you what constitutes the ambiguous and what constitutes the unambiguous? And his answer, his question was, why does it have to? But there's Here's actually, why. There's actually explanation to it. What, I was just recapping. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I was just recapping. So now I'm going to answer his question. And here's why it should. Because in Surah 12, Ayah 111, the Quran states this. Indeed, in their stories, there is a lesson for men of understanding. It is not a forged statement, confirmation of uh, which were before it and other scriptures. Sorry, that's, that's in the, there's so many flipping brackets. And a deep, here we go. And a detailed explanation of everything. Now, bear in mind, guys, the Quran says to me, not to you three, it says, consider the Quran, and if it were from any other than Allah, I would be able to find contradictions. So here's the contradiction. The Quran says it is a detailed explanation of everything. A detailed explanation of everything. Now let's not strawman the Quran. Let's not strawman the Quran. I'm not saying that the Quran has to tell me Einstein's physics of relativity. Okay. But what I am saying is if the Quran touches upon a topic, the Quran should explain the topic. Yeah. So, the Quran touches upon a topic, the ambiguous and the unambiguous verses. Yeah, I, I remember. So now show me in the Quran where it defines and constitutes yeah. what's the ambiguous yeah. and the unambiguous. So in the ayat, actually, when you when you read further, it says actually, uh, so the the uh, you find that the people who tend to gravitate towards the ambiguous verses are the ones who can i have the ayat can i have the ayat because it says it says actually after it just explains it gives a criteria if you like it's in the same ayat it's in three seven yeah three seven can you get three seven it's in 3.7, it yeah. says it right here. Yeah. So as for those whose hearts were a deviation, yeah. 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 they follow that which is not entirely clear thereof, yeah. seeking fitna, yeah. for it is hidden... Oh, that's brackets again, I think. No, yeah. no. Yeah. And seeking for its hidden meanings, yeah. but none knows its hidden meanings save Allah. Yeah. Right, hold on one second. Okay. I agree with you that there are ambiguous and unambiguous verses, but that is not a definition of what an ambiguous verse is. Well, it's telling you that there are certain people, and we know this amongst us Muslims. Yeah. Well, we know this, because yeah. there are certain people, they go to one ayat, it's not ambiguous, but they just want to prove their point. No, no, you it. say it's not ambiguous. No, 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 I'm saying in the Islamic discourse, intellectual, yeah. there has been cases, many people who engage with Islam will know this, there are certain groups amongst Islam who likes to go to particular verses. Name yeah. me one. 
the, the hand one, for example. No, no, no. Name me uh, the groups. Oh, I see. Yeah, the Mutazalites, the Asharis. No, you say the Mutazalites. Like, see, here's the thing, bro, right? All right, you mentioned the Asharis. Here's an Ashari, yeah. right? So you're saying he's a deviant. No, I'm not saying he's a deviant. I'm talking about... Wait, the Quran says that, though. Listen. So for those who in... Sorry. So as for those in whose hearts there is a deviation, yeah. if there is a deviation, are you not a deviant? No, but the verse... Oh, the, so the Quran is wrong. No, the, but you're breaking up the verses. So, so he doesn't have deviation no, I, in his heart. No, it, but it also says pr prior to that, it says there are uh, uh, clear and ambiguous ones. Yeah. And what it's basically saying to you is that there are disputes, there will be disputes among certain verses. This, I'm, I'm not saying that it has to be deviancy because also... is there not No, hold on one second. Hold on, hold on. Let, let me... Let, finish, sorry, right? go on. Let, sorry, let you finish, yeah. but then I'll come back. Because there's also a verse where it says... Uh, and there are ambiguous and unclear verses, but there's only a few people who understand them, right? There's only no, no, God only understands. It says you know, God only. A, yeah. In the Quran. That's the verse yes. in there. Yes, says, that's what it says. Is there not a verse that says and clear? Yeah, it's the same verse. Yeah, same verse. Yeah. And, and, yeah, yeah. And, and yeah, yeah, and you will find that there's right. But here, here's the problem. People. Here's the so problem. If I take the whole ayat in its yeah. entirety, the way I'm understanding the ayat is that Allah is telling us, look, there's going to be verses where you're going to have disputes. And one criteria, it's not the entire, the only criteria, one criteria you find that some people tend to gravitate towards certain ayats. However, the true meaning of these ayats is only of a small piece. Okay, so, small. so here's, here's what you said, here's what you said. I asked you to define for me from the Quran what constitutes the ambiguous and the unambiguous verses. That was my question. And you have not done that, but what you did say, no, I didn't inter well, I did yeah. interrupt you, but not for very long. But what you did was you say, well, the Quran doesn't define it, but it says who will gravitate towards them, right? And then yeah. you said, and, and then we quoted the verse, and it says that those who have a, a deviation in their heart, yeah. he's a, an Ashari, right? And when I said, well, he's a deviant, you said, no. So you're yeah. now arguing with your Quran. I'm not arguing, I'm just Are the Ashari deviants? No, I wouldn't say that. But the Quran, no, but the, the Quran yeah, yeah. says that the, the Ashari deny the reality of the face the and the shin. The Quran has said that. They don't deny that, by the way. They, they do deny them as realities. They say they're metaphors. Oh, yeah. 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 So they're not realities in and of themselves. They don't. Uh, they are metaphors to something else. What? God's actions. Yeah, they don't. They affirm it, but they don't describe it like some. Uh, 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 the, the, Ashari, the Ashari position is actually much closer to the Christian position than the Salafi position. Yeah. Because all of the, the descriptions uh, of God's body parts that we find in the Old Testament, we, we interpret them as metaphors of God's actions. Yeah. And that's what the Ashari do with the yeah, face. Yeah. But that's not what a Salafi is doing. Yeah. Now, if you're saying that those who gravitate to the unambiguous verses, yeah, right, and you, not me, yeah. you listed the Ashari next to the Mutazilites. No. You, you asked, did. No, you asked me, you asked me. You I asked, asked you to name groups no, that no, did that. No, and you said no, Mutazilite no, no, and no, no, Ashari. No. So you must be saying that the Ashari are like the Mutazilites, they are deviants. No, I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm, all I'm saying... On the Mutazilite when, deviant. When you asked me uh, where, remember I started with giving you examples of ayats. I said the ayat about the hands. Right. right. Did I not say that? Yeah. Yeah. The reason why I said that is because I've understood that you were saying to me, name me examples of ayats, but you meant name me groups. So, so I misunderstood what, what, you Fair enough. Honest mistake. Yeah. What I'm saying to you, and you, you still haven't done it yet, yeah. is the Quran is claiming to be a clear explanation of everything. Yes. Now let's be fair to the Quran. I can't expect the Quran to tell me everything in history and everything in the cosmos, because it would be a book nay big. Was but, one yet? second, no. one second. But it would be fair of me to expect the Quran to explain the things that the Quran talks about. What, what verse is it? Oh gosh, bro, it is in Surah 13, <laughs> yeah. 111. And it says right there, and a detailed explanation of everything. That's what it says. I've already checked the Arabic. It does say everything. Yeah, no, That's no, an no, accurate no, translation. No, no, now, the point is, guys, right? I'm going to be fair to the Quran. I'm not asking it to explain Einstein's theory of relativity or why me and you are all stood here talking, because that could also come into everything. That's unfair. What I'm saying is everything that the Quran talks about, the Quran should explain. That's what I'm saying. Everything the Quran talks about, it should explain because it says, and a detailed explanation of everything, and a guide and a mercy for the people who believe. 
So the Quran has said to you that there's ambiguous verses and unambiguous verses. So where does the Quran tell you what are the ambiguous verses and what are the unambiguous verses? Because if it doesn't, then it is not a detailed explanation of everything and a guide of mercy for the people who believe. The irony, the irony is that the verse itself yeah. is very ambiguous, isn't it? But, uh, yeah. It's a contradiction. Yeah. It's a contradiction within your Quran. I don't think it is, but... Um, so, okay, you say it's not a contradiction, now explain to me why it isn't. Because I would like to read the verse in its entirety that you... Here we go, there. here we go, here we go. I'll hold my Quran. Okay, sorry. Um, sorry. It's 111, this one. Yeah, 111. Do you want the Arabic as well? Yeah. The Arabic is there. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. See, the Quran claims, the Quran challenges me, not you. It says for me to find a contradiction. I found a contradiction. Prove me wrong. But you know, your Quran is very confusing. Yeah, thank you. So it's not a clear guidance. I believe that. It's in English. Have you chat with somebody who's really a Quran is uh, expert? I keep so, trying, but they're all running away. So if I told you... Ali Dawa ran away. Well, Ali, Dawa. Ali Dawa ran away. Take Mansour ran away. Say. Shamsi runs, runs away. What's the best answer you got for that? Is it a creation of, of the universe? The creation uh, contradiction as well? What, sorry? The this is Rad, right? Yes, it's a Rad. What, so, I mean, no, the, the, the no, the, 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 there is contradictions oh, about the man, description. Man, the creation of man. I wouldn't say that that's a contradiction, no. I say it's some person saying, of nothing and it creates... It's Surah 12, 111. 12. The best explanation you've had I'm on 13. No worries. Don't, yeah, yeah, I made the same mistake, actually. This one kind of Yeah, it's because it's where 12 begins. Yeah. 13 begins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, sorry? The human being. The human being. Okay, what about so the human being? Allah says, yeah, 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 nothing. But it's yes. To read some verses. Yes. Some yes. verses yeah, yeah, yeah. out of clay. So, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of um, say, well, the Quran. Yeah. yeah, the Quran. The Quran has contradictory descriptions of the creation of man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah, does. One one part of the Quran says he made us out of water. One part he made us out of a drop of semen. Yeah. That in itself is just biologically wrong. Yeah. You know. Creation out of semen. Perhaps not for laymen, like for us, like laymen that don't understand the, the true meaning of the Quran. Yeah. Perhaps like, what, are the, what is your best explanation you've had for that from so far? Who actually knows the scripture. So like far, Muslims. no one has yet been able to explain it today. I've asked, I've asked one, two, three. Is it three or four? Yeah. Four dawa people. I, I, I've asked four dawa people. So far, no one's been able to explain it. My point to you is, if if the Quran, the Quran gives me a challenge to find a contradiction, yeah. I found a contradiction. Now, unless the Muslims can explain to me why my logic is wrong and it isn't a contradiction, then the Quran is not true. But surely an answer must be in that Quran somewhere. I would expect that, and that's what I'm looking for. And I've asked Muslims, and they don't seem to be able to find a verse. But they're all laymen here. No, no, you know, it's a very difficult but complex. You bring me a scholar, book. I'll ask him the same if, question. Uh, but archaic language. Do you agree that if I, you cannot find me an explanation, then currently, to, at least to my knowledge, I'm justified in saying there's a contradiction? We've actually, there is an answer in the Quran, must be. It's just I, that we just I, simply I've, don't I've, know. I've, we just read the whole thing. Yep. Um, it's quite interesting. Um, so he's looking for the Tasfir as well. That's a yep. complex yeah, book, book. Yeah. What? When do your research, uh, brother, yeah, but, yeah. But, brother. You see, but you know any text, I could go to the Bible. Any text, knows, uh, it's very difficult really to really understand that. Yeah. You know, okay, you can can go back and Are you a Muslim yourself, sir? Uh, yeah. 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 Can, I, I'm, I'm going to go, but I appreciate the fact that you've listened and that you've listened intently. Yeah. And, and, and a very interesting uh, certainly. And, and I want to give you a gift. This is for you. Yeah. This is my gift to you. Yeah, I respect you. I'll Please. Accept it. Yeah. Have you got? I know you've got a Bible, haven't you? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Can I read? Uh, it? Do you actually read it? <laughs> um, yes, I have been. Recently. Do you do you read it without recently. just trying to find an argument no, against I Christianity? Read it with admiration at times. Okay, go on. Look at this. Which surah and Quran? Uh, so this is a surah uh, nine and eleven. So nine 11, and right? one second. Surah nine. I promise you, I can count. So I do know that nine eleven comes before twelve eleven. Yeah. One one. You know. Um, I know you guys think I can't count, but no, I can. No, listen, I'm. I don't really have much history with you, so I'm very. I'm trying to be as neutral as, as possible. And I appreciate it. I genuinely no, do. No, 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 no matter how hard we try, let me tell you something. The Quran is a. It's a very um, because it's from from the from high power, from the intelligent designer, right? So you're you going to understand. Okay. It's going to be a very just complex being. Surah. So even in Arabic, so in Arabic, but I can't understand it. Like so Surah Surah 911. What? Yeah. Got? Okay, so uh, maybe if, even if I go one before, yeah. How many signs is there? in the heavens and the earth. Wait, am I in the right place? Go go back to, start from uh, 5 to 7. 100, uh, 507. Uh, uh, five, what? So 9, 7. Surah 9, Ayah 7. Oh no, no, we're talking about the one that you brought. You know the verse about uh, the... 
clear, the Quran being clear. In oh, so Surah 12. Surah 12. Surah 12. And then start from 105. And okay. Then we, and, then we, and then I read down. Right, okay. Yeah. Let's. Well, Ali, nice to see you right. praying, though, I have to say, Ali. Nice okay. to see you praying, then. Surah 12. What? 105. Yeah, 105. Yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. Can you? Are you? Hundred and five. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can we can we read this quickly? And yeah. how many? Uh, how many? I'll do the reading, and okay. you can hear me read it. Okay. And how many a sign in the heavens and the earth they pass by while they are averse therefrom, and most of them believe not in Allah except that they attribute partners unto Him. Do they then feel secure from coming against them of the covering veil of the torment of Allah, or of the coming against them of the hour all of the sudden while they perceive it not? Say, this is my way. I invite unto I, I invite unto Allah with sure knowledge. I and whoever follows me. Sorry, I'm just skipping the brackets. Yeah. Sure. And glorified and exalted is Allah. And I am not of the musharikin. Uh, oh no, that's still a bracket. Any but them men unto whom we revealed from among the people of the townships, yeah. have they not travelled in the land and seen yeah. what was at the end of those who were before them? Mm. And verily the home of the hereafter is the best of those who fear Allah and obey Him. Mm. Just skipping the brackets. Yeah, sure. Do you not then understand? Bracket. Until when the messenger gave up hope and thought that they were denied, then came to them our help. And whoever we willed were rescued and our punishment cannot be warded off from the people who are marjimum. Indeed, in their stories there is a lesson for men of understanding. It is not a forged statement but a confirmation of which were before it bracket, and a detailed explanation of everything and a guide and a mercy for the people who believe. Yeah. Right. So, what, what, How does what, that... what do you make of, make of that? So what, what, what that's saying to me is that, that the Quran is meant to be a warning. Yeah. Okay. And it's a warning against the unbeliever yeah. of the, the coming judgment of Allah. Okay. And that the, the judgment of Allah cannot be escaped. Yeah. It's inevitable. Yeah. It is that, that juggernaut coming down the track that you can't get away from. Yeah. And that they have some stories that they have, yeah. which have some good lessons in them. Yeah. But those stories um, are not the Quran, and the Quran isn't a made. The Quran isn't a forged story. So, the yeah. people were accusing Muhammad of making up a story yeah. that they had heard before yeah. from someone else, yeah. which actually historically is true. We've, we we see the evidence for that in the Talmuds and in the, sure. the Gnostic Gospel, uh, the infancy Gnostic Gospel. Um, but. That the Quran is not forged and it is an, a clear explanation of everything and a guidance to mankind. Yeah. So that's what I understand by that. So I would expect the Quran to guide you in saying what is the ambiguous and the unambiguous verses and you so far have not yet been able to do that. You've simply argued that people will be drawn to... But that's the what the Quran is saying. It's not, I'm, exactly, I'm, I'm exactly. Not but the point is, that doesn't define for me what the ambiguous and the unambiguous verses are. Maybe it's not sufficient for you. Sufficient because for because the, groups, the groups accuse one another of deviancy. Of course they will. That Ashari that left us earlier, he accuses Salafi of, of, of polytheism. He said it to me over there. Yeah, okay. Can I... Now, the way I've understood it, uh, it's similarly to you, but um, I add more uh, flavor to it. So here, Allah SWT is clearly talking about, first of all, uh, incidences that took place uh, prior to the Qur'an. Yep. And those incidences are being confirmed. And when Allah says He will describe things in, its, in, 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 in detail, yep. then I, I think of incidences in the Qur'an where Allah describes those stories. For example, the story of uh, Yusuf A.S. Yusuf A.S. story and this is the only story, by the way, in the Quran that is described in a chronological order, yep. which, which you're aware of. The Quran does not really describe things in chronological order per se. So when Allah talks about the things that He will confirm and things that uh, He will explain in detail, are those things that whenever a story does come up, for example, the story of Abraham and his father, yep. it's, it's explained in detail. Yep. So that's why I understood it. Yep. But Muhammad and um, and and these the, these ayat that are ambiguous. 
are more verses to do uh, with um, the, of metaphysical of metaphysical metaphysical nature. And hear me clearly. Yeah. What I'm saying is, you have no justification for saying that the uh, ambiguous uh, the the ambiguous verses are those verses. Why? But, uh, yeah. Okay. okay, I'll leave it there. Next week. It's lovely speaking to you. you. Click up that Bible, read it. Come and ask I, me questions about I it, do, bro. I do, I yeah. do. And, and you know, I, I, the thing is with me, which is a bit... With me, the thing is that when I read the Bible, I don't read the Bible to uh, find mistakes in it. I, find, I read the Bible to find connections in it. Um, to Islam. Considering the company you keep, I struggle to believe that. But that might be me being harsh. We, yeah. That might be me being harsh. Anyway, it's nice talking to you. Look after yourself. Okay, so let's let's do it. Uh, uh, are we done? Sami, please. Sami, be nice. Sami, Sami, Sami. If if you would like to have a debate, let's do it next week. Did you find the verse? Yes, I did. You just weren't here for it. What? Two minute chat, absolutely. Yeah, uh, no, no, no. Okay, well, two minute chat. Just give me reference. Off camera. Sorry. Off camera. So do a quick wrap up. Sami, let let do a wrap up. No, no, no. I want only to give me to give me the verse. No, no, no. Give me the reference. No. No reference. Did you like so, it? So, what's, you, what's you your... Like your... Yeah, so my, uh, my chat is... Um, off camera, off camera.